trade union members early of the period at the petrochemical trade union, working as a seaman. At this time, 1988, people uprising so happened. This time, we're making trade union for our democracy movement. Later then, the State Law and Restoration Council is occupied the power at this time. Our trade union movements are uh, underground movement. And then are going outside to Bangkok and connect with our trade union leaders. The name of trade union is Federation Trade Union of Burma. And then I going back to Burma and going back to Bangkok. At the 1997, I was arrested in prison, but I released from the prisons at the end of 2011. Later then, our leaders have come back from uh, Bangkok, and they can stand in openly. Now our trade union is confederation level. Our union is not under of any political parties, any government. <coughs> we have to stand free labor. We have to stand free. It's very important for for future. This is our registration issued on 23rd uh, July. It talks uh, this. It talks about uh, being the All Burma uh, Trade Union Organization and where it says about the CTUM as a name of the organization. You must feel this has been a great victory for the Myanmar's trade union movement. This is something that we have looked forward to. That has been our dream. So it is a big achievement for all the workers and especially for our team. The main thing was that uh, to come back, to come back to the country and to develop the country into a modernized state. So that was my objective. That is what kept us going. That was what kept my motivation. We had good friends from the ITUC, from the ITUC Asia Pacific, from the Global Union Federations. All of us worked together. International solidarity helped us to survive both physically and also to develop our awareness. I believe we can say that the international solidarity movement does work and it worked for us. We were in a black hole and we still need to do a lot about the infrastructure changes and also about the, let's say, the character of the country. We have been introduced to corruption and also, let's say, the education system has gone down the tube. So we have to work really, really hard to get the education system back on track, which will be the backbone to push the country up. We need to really establish the fact that like independent press, independent trade unions are an essential part of the democratic society. Where do you see the future for the union and for Myanmar? The workforce in uh, Myanmar at the moment is about uh, 30 million. For us to have decent CBAs in the various sectors, we need to cover at least 50% of the workforce. We only have covered only about 0.1 of the workforce. Uh, our target for the next four years is uh, 400,000. We're working hard to achieve that. At the moment, we're handling about 67 disputes on minimum wage and employment contract. And the lead discussions are being done by themselves, by the workers. And then we need to go to another level regarding CBA. Because I think more we're going to face multinationals, uh, globalization, as well as ASEAN economic integration. These things we, are, we will be facing. I think the next big challenge is uh, going from recognition to actual engagement with employers and the government to really uh, change conditions of work throughout the country and all the industries in which workers do face health and safety problems, uh, discrimination regarding uh, various forms such as uh, ethnicity or religion, uh, but also overcoming uh, basic problems such as uh, decent wages and child labor, for example.
These are significant challenges that face the entire country and the labor movement will need to play a, a huge role in that. We've seen an incredible growth in labor organizations. It's been really, really impressive. You have now 2,000 labor organizations where three years ago you had zero. Well, I don't think that they're going to be turning back the clock. Whatever happens with the elections, whatever happens in the current coming year, two years, the unions are here. They've created a, set, a strong base for their organization. They're working to strengthen even further. Um, and I don't see that going away anytime soon. But I think that industrial relations is really at a crossroads right now in Myanmar. The issues related to labor rights, to occupational safety and health, these are huge issues and it's, and it's a huge challenge, not only for the, the workers themselves, but obviously their unions, the employers and the government. I believe it. Calling this way, we can get strong democracy in our country. Uh -huh.